Hey everyone, welcome to another NLP video. Today we are taking a look at QLORA, Efficient Fine Tuning of Quantized LLMs by authors from the University of Washington. The authors present QLORA, an efficient fine tuning approach that reduces memory usage enough to fine tune a 65 billion parameter model, LAMA in this case, on a single 48 gigabyte GPU while preserving full 16 bit fine tuning task performance. This works by quantizing the LLM to 4 bit and using using low rank adapters LoRa to only fine tune a small additional number of parameters embedded in the LLM. Perform a number of experiments training over 1000 different models ranging from tens of millions to 65 billion parameters, providing detailed analysis of how well LoRa works for various tasks and setups. The best model called Wanako outperforms all previously released open models on the Vicuna benchmark, reaching 99.3% of the performance level of ChatGPT while only requiring 24 hours of fine tuning on a single GPU. QLORA introduces a number of innovations which we're going to talk about in a second and QLORA is also available to use via Hugging Face and via the open source library that they provide. We're going to take a look at that towards the end of the video but this is great because it's already available to use and you can give it a try with your models and with your code and there's already code floating around regarding how to use QLORA with various models such as Llama or Falcon. There's also release for the kernels for 5-bit, 4, 4-bit training of models. But let's talk about how QLORA works in practice. So if you want to fine tune an LLM such as Llama, Falcon, Alpaca or Vicuna or anything else, the standard way is to fine tune the whole LLM. You take the LLM, you might use 16 or 32 bit precision and you show your data set, for example, for instruction fine tuning. And I should say that I'm not an expert in this field per se, like low level hardware and so on. But from what I understand, for doing this sort of fine tuning, you typically need to do a large number of computation or even full computation in 32 bit. So for example, to update the parameters, you frequently need to do 32 bit computation rather than 16 bit. And this fine tuning approach is very expensive because you need to load the full model, which might require you for Llama about 780 gigabytes of GPU RAM, which is very, very prohibitive. And it's also going to be pretty time consuming because you have to update the whole model. An alternative to full fine tuning is to use a technique called LoRa, which was introduced a few years ago. It's a parameter efficient fine tuning method, which basically embeds a small number of additional parameters at key locations of the base model. So you're going to freeze the base model and you're going to add these extra parameters and you're going to fine tune only those parameters on your data set. This is certainly helping as because now you only need to update only those parameters and also you could fine tune a model multiple times and you just need to load the, the adapters for each task that you want to focus on. Let's say so you can have multiple tasks and use the same base frozen during inference. However, LoRa has some limitations, most notably that you have to actually load the whole LLM. The method proposed in this current paper called QLORA extends LoRa by further quantizing the base model. So taking the 16-bit transformer and applying 4 bits, they freeze the 4-bit transformer and they use it to update the QLORA adapter weights by using the output of the 4-bit transformer, the gradients, dequantizing them to 16-bit or 32-bit, and then using those to update the adapter parameters. And the authors introduce three innovations to make this QLORA possible. The first innovation is the use of a new data type, which is called 4-bit normal float, which is information theoretically optimal for normally distributed weights. Basically, this is a new quantization method that that they show that works very well for this use case. I will not go into detail here. You can check out the paper for further details. A second innovation is the use of doubleization to reduce the average memory footprint by quantizing the quantization constants. So instead of just quantizing a single time the model parameters, they actually quantize the quantized parameters, leading to further memory savings. And the final innovation is the use of page optimizers to manage memory spikes. This is basically some custom code, which as far as I understand is related to the low level details of implementation in CUDA regarding how to manage this dequant and this update of these parameters over here. 
making sure that when you dequantize, you don't end up having an out of memory error in CUDA due to the potentially large number of that you need to do. And you can read more about that in the paper. But that's the basic idea of Aura. So let's look at some experiments with QLora. The first major experiment that the authors contribute is comparing QLora versus standard fine tuning. So fine tuning with 16 bit bit adapters versus with QLora, which uses the 4 bit model. The authors compare with various other architectures such as Roberta, T5, Llama, Flan, V2, Alpaca, and others. And they also measure accuracy and perplexity across different models from model sizes from 125 million to 13 billion. The basic takeaway from the results here is that the 4-bit QLora with the new data type matches 16-bit full fine tuning and 16-bit LoRa fine tuning performance on the academic benchmarks. The authors interestingly do not observe performance degradation compared to full fine tuning. Another big experiment that the authors perform is focusing on instruction fine-tuning using the natural language understanding benchmark, MMLU. On that benchmark, QLora holds up well versus the flow 16 baseline, as you can see in terms of mean accuracy across those data sets. One interesting table from the paper is this one, which is the zero shot by benchmark scores as a percentage of the score obtained by ChatGPT, evaluated by GPT-4. So the, here they're using GPT-4 for evaluation. And we can see we have uh, quite a few models. We have the Guanaco model of the authors of this paper, 65 billion four bit model with 41 gigabyte of memory reaching 99.3 percent score on this benchmark which is higher than BART. So in overall, Q is a very impressive method, which essentially makes large-scale LLMs containing over 60 billion parameters trainable on single consumer-grade GPUs, bringing this technology closer to ordinary people and companies which might not have the large resources needed to train these models and to fine-tune them. So this QLORA could be a significant milestone within the LLM ecosystem, which could lead to even to deployment of these models on smaller devices such as mobile phones, etc. So it's a very, very interesting paper and the model, the QLORA is also available on Hugging Face. There's a nice blog post explain, explaining how to use it within the library. Essentially, you need to load the model with a new parameter called load in 4-bit equals to true. The requirement for using this is that the model that you want to use should be quantized in 4-bit, which would include most architectures such as Llama, GPT-Neo, and other models. Here we have in the blog post a list of currently supported models that you can give it a try. There's also example notebooks for training models using QLORA. So that's all that I wanted to cover for this video. I hope you find it useful and check out QLORA and I'll talk to you in the next one. Bye bye.